let us all sing and call there Jesus. Is joy. There is joy. There is joy. Where do you come? We invite Jesus. We invite Jesus into Jesus our life. Come. Jesus. Jesus come. come Lord Jesus. heart and call Jesus. Let Jesus come into our life there with his healing. Come Jesus. Let us all sing from our heart. Jesus God, Let Jesus come into our life. There is power when God, we call Jesus into our life, into our family. Jesus God, we call Jesus into Jesus our community. God, in all the areas of our life. Jesus, come God, with your power. all sing and pray there is power. come Jesus oh, there is power. There is power. When you come. Jesus Jesus come. Jesus come. there is love there is love Jesus, come to us with your love. Jesus, come. Jesus, Fill come. our life with your love. Fill our hearts with Jesus, your love. Come. Let all of us may be filled with your love, there Jesus. Is love. There is love. There is love. When you come. Pray to Jesus. For the grace to experience God's love. Come Jesus. Come Jesus. Jesus come. Jesus come into my life with your joy. Jesus, fill our life there with your joy. Is joy. There is joy. There is joy. When you come. come, Jesus. There is joy. There is joy. There is joy. When you come. Jesus. We all sing and pray Jesus from the heart. God, we call Jesus. There is healing come. With a heart full of Jesus faith. God, With the love. There is come. Let's call Jesus into all the areas of our life. Into our sicknesses. Jesus come. come. Jesus come with your healing touch. We 
all sing and pray to Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, come. Understanding the meaning of what we sing, we pray. When Jesus comes, there is blessing. When the Jesus comes, there is blessing in our life, blessing in our family. Come, Jesus. Be called Jesus. Invite Jesus. The save Jesus. Let's all receive Jesus into our life. We sing to Jesus. Experience the presence and power of Jesus. We are in front of our Lord. In front of our Lord who is blessing us. Our Lord and God who is healing us. Our God who fills our life with His joy, with His peace, who showers His blessings. With faith, let us be in front of our God and pray from our heart, Jesus, Jesus, we our children are here before you, praying for your blessing. Praying for your mercy. Jesus, come into our life with your peace. Come into your come into our life with this with your joy. Oh Jesus. Call from the heart. When Jesus comes, there is blessing in our life. When Jesus comes, there is salvation in our life. Then when Jesus comes, there are changes in our life. Come Jesus. Call Jesus. Come Jesus with your power to heal us, to save us. Jesus. There is power. Oh, there is power. There is power. When you come. We all sing from our heart and pray. There is power. With faith we sing. There is power. Come, Jesus. Let the blessing of Jesus come into our life. Jesus, touch us. Touch us with your presence, with your power. Jesus. 
experience the presence of Jesus. Our Lord who blesses. Our Lord who saves us. all join our hands and look at our Eucharistic Lord our Lord and God is here before us looking at the Eucharistic Lord we sing Jesus all look at Jesus, our Eucharistic Lord, our Lord and God, who is here before us, who has come to bless us, to save us. Experience the presence of that Jesus, our Lord, our Creator, our Protector, Jesus.
let us all look at our eucharistic lord our lord who is in the form of a bread who has come on this altar to hear our prayer to answer our prayers and to bless us when god comes into our life there is blessing there is healing there is joy there is happiness there is peace this is what we read in the book of sirach chapter 1 verses 11 to 20 when god comes into our life god fills our life with happiness god gives joy and he gives a long life he gives good health peace and showers his blessing that is what we were praying when god comes into our life there is peace there is happiness there is joy there is healing there is blessings at the end of this day we are here before our lord after all our activities we are here offering our prayers our intentions our life our hearts desires our dreams and our plans of our life sometimes we may be representing our own family our own community offering the prayers and intentions of the family family members our community our community members praying for our dear and near ones praying for the intentions this is the time that we receive god's blessing this is the time that god comes into our life because we have chosen this hour to be before our lord we have decided to spend with our lord the time of prayer is a time of blessing the time of prayer is a time of healing we are here before our lord and our lord has come here to bless we offer everything before our lord in the book of second samuel chapter 7 we read the prayer of david david prayed to god oh lord you are my god and your words are true you have promised promised this good thing to your servant now therefore let it happen in my life give me the grace to be always before you and let my life let my family be blessed by god once we are blessed by god we will be blessed forever this was the prayer of david when we are blessed when our life when our family is blessed by god it will be blessed forever jesus we need that blessing that is why we are here before you we need that peace joy happiness we need that healing that blessing jesus as we are before our lord we remember all our prayers our intentions our lord has showered so many blessings into our life and the one who has showered all those blessings the one who has healed our sicknesses the one who has saved us many times in our life he is here to do the same in our life sometimes we might have heard that other people have received healings blessings it is possible for us to at this time as we spend our time before our lord with faith let us be before our lord the word of god word of god reminds us no one can please god without faith this is the way that we can please our lord our deep faith believing that our lord can bless us our lord can save us let us all be seated before our lord 
as we have come before our Lord, in our hearts, in our mind, we have our intentions, our prayers. Let us all close our eyes. We are before our Lord who knows everything about us. Whatever happens in our life, whatever is going on in our heart, even if others do not know about anything, our God knows. The pain that we are carrying on our heart, even though others do not understand us, our God understands, our God knows. So we offer our life. We offer all our prayers, our intentions, together with the people, those who asked our prayers. There are so many those who are asking our prayers every day. This is the time that we offer them, their prayers, their life. The people, those who are suffering, all around the world. The people, those who need our prayers. This is the time of blessing. Jesus, we offer them in front of you, in front of our Eucharistic Lord. We offer our life. We offer our prayers. We offer our pain. We offer our plans, our sicknesses. Jesus, we believe that you are here to heal us. You are here to save us. You are here to bless us. With faith, let us offer our prayers. Let us say to Jesus, Jesus, this is my difficulty. This is my problem. This is my suffering. And this is my family, this is my life. I don't know what to do in my life. There is no one to help me. I don't see any other way to overcome this. Jesus, we offer our life. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 to 8, there we read about the transfiguration of Jesus. When Jesus was at the top of the hill praying, that is the time that the whole heaven came to Jesus to help, to be with him. Moses, Elijah, the father's voice saying that this is my son, beloved son. Today as we are before our Lord, even if we feel that there is no one around us to support us, to save us. We have a mighty God with us. We share our life with our Lord. As the heaven came to support Jesus, the heaven will come to support us. God the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, our own guardian angels, the old saints and the angels in heaven. They will come, they will support, they will save. Because we are before our Lord. The time of adoration, the time of prayer, is the time that we experience our Lord coming into our life to bless, to save. In the letter to the Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, the word of God says, I can do everything by the one who strengthens me. Our Lord is coming into our life to strengthen us. And we can do everything by the God who strengthens us. Let us believe in that word and we ask Jesus Jesus come into my life strengthen my in my life as we spend our time before our Lord we ask Jesus to come the 
the different areas of our life. If we need healing, we ask Jesus, come to our life with your healing touch. If we need a blessing, we offer that prayer and we ask Jesus, Jesus, come into my life with this blessing. Jesus, let us all pray from our heart with faith. Let us call Jesus in our heart. Jesus, come into my life. This is my sickness. This is my problem. This is my difficulty. This is my pain. There is no one to console us. There is no one to save me. Jesus, only you can do. Let us all stand before our Lord. Let's raise our both hands to Jesus. Raising our hands is a sign that we surrender our life. As we spend our time in prayer, in adoration, we surrender our life before our Lord. And we ask Jesus to come into our life. In the book of Genesis chapter 28, we read about the dream of Jacob. Jacob, Jacob saw a, had a dream and he saw in that dream that there was a ladder which was connected with heaven and earth. One end is in heaven and the other end was in earth. And the angels were going up and down. Today as we spend, as we pray before our Lord, from heaven the angels God the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, they will come and they will help us, they will support us. Let us all raise our both hands and we offer our prayers, our intentions. We ask for Jesus' blessing. We ask for Jesus' grace. We ask for Jesus' support. Raising our hands, we ask Jesus and we sing and pray. Jesus, come to my life, bless my life, heal me, touch me. Let us all sing and pray to Jesus. Jesus, with faith let us call Jesus. When we call from our heart with faith, we will experience that God comes into our life. God is standing near to us and God is touching us, healing us, saving us. Let us all sing and pray to Jesus. Pray for God's healing, God's touch. Offering our prayers, our family. Offering our heart's desires. Offering our intentions. We pray for God's blessing. Jesus, bless us. Jesus. Jesus, bless us. Jesus, bless us. Jesus, bless us. Believe in our heart that whatever we pray at this moment is going to happen by the power of Jesus. Our God is going to touch us. Our God is going to heal us. Our God is going to bless our life. With faith, let us pray. With faith, let us sing to Jesus. Jesus. Me, Jesus. Touch me, Jesus. Let us all pray from our heart and ask Jesus to touch us. Touch our body. 
touch our heart. Change our body, change our heart. Touch me, Jesus. Touch me, Jesus. Touch me, Jesus. Touch me. Now. Jesus, we all need your healing touch at this touch moment. Me, touch Jesus. us. Touch me, Lord. Heal me, Jesus. Heal me, Jesus. Heal me. Offering our sicknesses, our pain, the problems with our body. Jesus. We believe that you are the healer. You are the God who heals us. Heal me, Jesus. Heal our dear ones. Heal the people, those who are suffering with different kinds of sicknesses. Heal me, Jesus, at this moment. Heal, me, Jesus. Heal them, Jesus, at this moment. Heal me, Jesus. With faith, let us all sing and pray Heal to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Jesus, with your mighty wash blood, wash me, everyone. Jesus, wash us, O oh Lord. Wash us, Jesus. Our Jesus, our Savior, is coming to us to save us. With faith, let us call Jesus. Jesus, save us. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us and save us. Jesus, our Savior, save us, Jesus, at this moment. You all pray. Lord who said I am the God who heals you he is here to heal us he is here to save us heal me Jesus so that I shall be healed save me Jesus so that I shall be saved completely Jesus Our both hands, let's all praise and worship Jesus. Hallelujah. 
and ask for Jesus power Jesus touch Jesus healing we all call the name of Jesus we praise and worship Jesus let the power of Jesus flow into our life let the power of Jesus flow into our body oh Jesus hallelujah 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 praise you Jesus Jesus we worship you Jesus we adore you Lord hallelujah 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 abba father we praise you we worship you jesus christ we praise you we thank you we love you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus 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 we praise you lord we worship you jesus we adore you jesus abba father we praise you abba father we thank you holy spirit hallelujah 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 let the power of jesus flow into our life let the power of jesus flow into our intentions and our prayers hallelujah 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 jesus touch all everyone with your healing touch hallelujah 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 praise you jesus jesus we worship you lord we adore you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus jesus we worship you jesus hallelujah 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 let us all kneel down before our lord our god is telling us that my grace is sufficient for you the grace of our lord is sufficient for each one of us all throughout our life the grace of lord is sufficient in time to time we need that grace every day we need that grace we ask jesus today we need a grace and tomorrow the next day we again come before our lord for the grace for that day for the grace to do all our activities when jesus prayed in the gospels we read that heaven was opened and the holy spirit came upon him when mother mary and the disciples were praying the holy spirit come upon them we to ask jesus jesus send the holy spirit upon us so that the holy spirit may help us to come before our lord every day to receive that grace from our lord jesus you have promised that all those who ask for the holy spirit God will shower his holy spirit ask you will receive ask for the holy spirit you will receive the holy spirit Jesus we need that spirit to guide us to lead us to come before our lord to spend our time before our lord to receive the grace every day in our life every moment in our life let's all join our hands and close our eyes and we to pray to Jesus Jesus send the holy spirit upon us send the power upon us the one who is guiding us the one who is advising us the one who is leading us our advocate our protector our leader oh holy spirit come upon us to guide us to lead us let us all sing from our heart and we invite holy spirit to our life as our guide oh holy spirit come oh holy spirit let us all sing from our heart and pray for the power of the holy spirit Holy Spirit Oh 
Holy Spirit, come and dwell in our lives. Guide us. Receive Holy Spirit into our life as our leader, as our guide. And we ask Jesus for the grace to listen to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, give us the grace to listen to the Holy Spirit, to make our plans, to live our life according to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit dwell in us, every time, Holy Spirit walk in us, You Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Let us all stand before our Lord as we are preparing for the feast of Saint Joseph. We pray through the intercession of our Saint Joseph for blessings in our life, in our intentions, and in our prayers. Let's all pray the novena to Saint Joseph. In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have, we have confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, we come to you as an example for holiness, for you are especially close with God. Therefore, we humbly commend ourselves 
with all who are dear to us and all that belong to us to your intercession. We beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary not to abandon us during life and to assist us at the hour of our death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for us to have a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be our guide, our father, our model, through, through life that I may, we may die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, we raise our heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace we implore now. Let us remember our special intentions and our prayers. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on our behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Saint Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us all kneel down before our Jesus and in our hearts we praise and thank Jesus for the blessings and graces Jesus showered. We say in our heart, Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we love you. Praising and thanking Jesus in our heart, let us all prepare to receive the final blessing of Jesus. <laughs> 